what is going on i'm tori cryptic ice and hi <laughs> um today i'm gonna be doing a no i can't do that <laughs> today i'm gonna be doing a video about five tips and slash tricks hacks whatever you like to call it for to help your nightlife be easier like when you're going to bed um also look at the watch i got i want actually before we start i want to talk about a like convention i went to this week um, weekend and it was so much fun it was like a reading convention where you meet authors and you go to their panel and it was amazing and I went to this fantasy panel which I'm not big into fantasy books but I kind of have a new pr appreciation for them after I listened to a couple authors speak about their books and I actually got a fantasy book um, and I wasn't planning on it I was actually gonna get a mystery book but then there's this one author that started talking about his book which I actually bought and I have with me. Um, his name is Michael Buckley. Sorry, I'm not good with names, so I had to make sure and say his name wrong. <laughs> I actually met him and I talked to him. He signed my book, so this is a signed copy. Um, his book's called Undertow, and this is not sponsored. Just so you know, I just, if you want to have a good read, this is definitely a book you should check out. He kind of does a twist on mermaids, um, in most stories, they're perceived as enchanting, beautiful creatures. And in his, they're monsters and they're kind of gross. <laughs> That's not like a good word for it. But like, they're viewed as monsters. And um, the people higher up want um, us as humans to live in harmony with them. But all the humans are really angry and they don't want them to live with them so the the mermaids go to school with them and all the parents are freaking out saying we don't want our children in with these monsters so if you want a good read undertow is an amazing book by michael buckley you should read it <laughs> anyway on to the video <laughs> so my um first tip is if you ever have gotten up in the middle of the night and you can't find your light switch because it's all dark and you need to go to the bathroom or something or you're looking for something and you get up in the middle of the night and you have no idea where your light switch is and you're feeling around the wall a good tip is to unscrew the frame around your light switch and paint it with glow-in-the-dark paint nail polish or spray paint and then let it dry and then screw it back on that way when you turn off the lights it will glow, but not too bright. That way it doesn't upset you while you're sleeping, but you can still find it in the dark when you get to, when you go to get up in the middle of the night. <laughs> Second tip. If you have acne, like me, <laughs> switching your pillowcase every other day or every single day or every other week, every two days, it's really up to you and how your face is really helps because while you're sleeping you're putting sweat onto your pillowcase sweat and dirt and it's going back onto your face and soaking into your pores which can make you break out even more so switching your pillowcase really does help it may not seem like a lot but you will see um good results not like the best because you do need to clean your face changing your pillowcase isn't going to make a whole difference but it will make a difference okay <laughs> Third tip, sending out your clothes and setting out everything for school um, or work the night before helps a lot because then that way you're not sitting in bed going th through what you have to do in the morning and it definitely will make life easier. I know this is something that you're like, oh, well, everyone knows that. Actually doing it will help <laughs> a lot. Trust me, you won't be worrying about, oh, did I remember this? Oh, did I remember that? And you'll forget less things if you plan the night before. Number three. No. Yeah. I don't know. I think we're on three. We might be on four. <laughs> Keeping a bottle of water next to your bed at the night and in the morning is really good because drinking water the, before you go to bed and when you wake up, it flushes out your system of toxins and everything. So water is really good to drink, especially if you have trouble with 
at me. Um, no, I think that was four. Five, <laughs> I think. Yeah. If you have your back hurting randomly in the middle, of, like in the middle of the month, flipping your mattress can help a lot, actually, because of your body kind of pushes into springs and molds to a certain shape. So then your back kind of gets gets sore. I'm not that very scientific about it, but flipping your mattress gives you a whole new side and can help with your back. At least it helps with mine. So. That should help. I gotta make sure I went through all of them. One, two, three, four. I think that's all of them. If not, I'm a failure. Do you see this? Kitty. <laughs> that's Angel. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos, um, kind of like this, I don't know. It's up to you, whatever. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up because that lets me know you want to see videos kind of like this in the future. And you enjoy me kind of doing tips and tricks, which I enjoy like inventing new ones and finding out new ones. And I actually use all these that I just gave you. Um, if you want to check out more videos by me, you can um, go check out my channel and maybe subscribe. You don't have to, but it'd be cool if you did. <laughs> um oh yeah if you want to be um caught up on everything about me like you want to know why i haven't i don't update for something like say i don't put up a video right away or you want to know more about like what's going on in my life you can follow my twitter where i kind of keep you updated or my instagram i keep people more updated on there because i like posting photos a lot and I actually have a Snapchat. I don't use it 24-7, but I do use it. And it is Tori Cryptic Ice. And I'm the only one with that name, I think. Pretty positive I'm the only one with that name. So you should find me rather easily. But the link will be in the description. Don't worry. <laughs> um, well, that's it for now. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. <laughs> and don't forget to smile. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>